Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video using Space Engine, we're going to go on a bit of an adventure to a planet known as Metusela, the oldest planet we've discovered so far. Welcome to What The Math. So, in Space Engine, there's actually a very interesting solar system very, very far away uh, from us. This is about 12.4 light years away. This system is known as PSR B1620-26 and it contains three objects. Unofficially, this system has an object by the name of Methuselah Planet. This planet does have a, a more official name, but the reason why it's called Metosella is because if you know anything about the Bible and if you know anything about the uh, Christian folklore, Metosella was the oldest living human being. And just like that, this planet that we're going to is going to be the oldest planet we've discovered so far as well. Its age is approximately 12.7 billion years, three times as old as our own planet Earth. So. Let's actually just type the planet's name and go for an adventure across our galaxy. We're going to a very interesting globular cluster actually, and you'll see that things in here will look very, very differently. There's that globular cluster, and right by this globular cluster, practically inside of it, there is this beautiful gas giant planet. It's an absolutely incredible object. Very, very gorgeous, has very beautiful blue rings. And look at the night skies here. The amount of stars in the night sky around this particular planet is ridiculous. Those two objects are the binary stars that it orbits, and I'm going to explore them in a few seconds. But right here is this very interesting gas giant that um, has a relatively large mass actually. Its mass is something like two and a half times the mass of Jupiter. It's also um, at a very far away distance. It's actually farther away than Uranus is from, uh, from the Sun. The distance here is approximately 23 astronomical units. And it takes this uh, gas giant... Actually, let's land on the surface. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like nothing. Yeah, so this gi gas giant takes about approximately 100 years to orbit uh, its parent stars. And it very likely has other planets, but we, this is the only one we've discovered here. And this gas giant probably has very interesting moons as well, but we probably won't see them for quite some time. Let's actually look at the planet, uh, at the actual stars as well, at the parent stars that are located right there. Now, like I said before, this is actually a binary system. And it's a very, very unique system, very interesting system because it contains a white dwarf and a pulsar, or also known as a neutron star. A very interesting, unusual system, and this is actually the first circumbinary planet we've discovered. Um, basically, a planet that orbits two different stars that orbit around one another. So let's start with the first star here, uh, designated as PSR B1620-26A. And this is the neutron star, or the pulsar that um, is essentially the center of this particular solar system. It's relatively massive. It's actually at least 1.35 masses of the sun. And because it's a neutron star, it's very, very dense. It creates these very interesting uh, relativistic effects around it, almost like a black hole. If I were to actually slow down time, almost pausing it, and land on its surface, you would first of all see how everything is blue shifted. So there's a lot of relativistic effects here. And then we start spinning really fast. And this is actually slowed down by about 300 times. So the actual speed of uh, pulsating here is very, very fast. It's a very interesting object, very, very beautiful, creates a lot of magnificent effects in Space Engine. And um, a very, very old object as well that was very likely born somewhere in this globular cluster went supernova and created this very beautiful neutron star. The second object is designated as B, so we're going to go and check it out as well. And it's a white dwarf, that's basically right here, that um, used to be very likely the parent star of the planet that you just saw. And 
one day it was captured by this neutron star. We're going to talk about the creation of the system in more detail in the next video. But for now, let's just take a look at them and explore them um, and kind of explore the uh, Globiro system as well. This is a Messier 4 Globiro cluster. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But look at look at this. Look at how beautiful this white dwarf is. And it has this unusual halo-like effect around it. I don't even know why this is actually forms here, but it looks like almost like a ring around this beautiful white dwarf. And this ring system might be actually real, for all we know. Anyway, it's a very beautiful white dwarf. It's only about uh, 0.34 masses of our sun. And like I said, it used to be... Um, it used to be the parent star of Metacellular planet, and at, at some point, when it expanded to red giant phase and lost its mass, the planet retreated away from it, uh, po possibly assuming its current orbit uh, maybe so several billion years ago, and then this white dwarf basically stayed there, the planet orbited around it, and it was captured by the neutron star. So, all in all, this is a very beautiful system. It actually is one of the most unusual systems we've discovered. It's two stars orbiting around one another, a planet around them, and it's the oldest planet we've discovered. So, it has basically records for many, many firsts, many unusual properties as well. But all in all, this is actually in this very large globular cluster where many of the stars actually have very low metallicity. So, ha having a planet around the star here is actually not very common. So this Metacellar star is a very rare planet. And uh, because there are so many stars here, it's very likely that through billions of years, Metacellar planet might actually uh, either get captured by something else or it might get completely kicked out of its solar system and become a rogue planet. And it's possible that in these clusters, there's actually quite a lot of rogue planets orbiting and flying around here uh, because these stars are relatively close to each other, so they interact um, quite often. But imagine having such an unusual night sky. If this is what you saw in the night sky, our life would be so much different. Our uh, creation, all of our stories, all of our legends, and all of our folklore would be so different from what it is today. So if there is any alien species living in one of these unusual globular clusters, they probably have very interesting stories to tell. And look at this beautiful picture that almost formed there a second ago. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to explore this system, and in the next video we're going to create it using Universe Sandbox. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who likes learning through video games, and consider supporting this channel Patreon as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, Let's escape this gold cluster and leave our galaxy as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.